spitting at for the love of spitting rap. Hits like Nickelback singing with the Bondo, diplomats. Bondo. Written by Max Bondo, Martin Bondo, swinging Bondo. with the whipple back. Hit a pistol blast, then I hit the track. Running like a canyon, cause I'm a canyon. All right, enough with the fun. All right, so this is my 2001 Volvo V70, non-turbo, five-speed manual. It's sitting on Volvo 780 Bretoni wheels. I absolutely love them. Um, a little bit about the car. I got the car when it had 238,000 kilometers on it. It now has a lot more than that, believe me. Um, this is a quick walk around of the car. And I'm going to go and point out a couple flaws on this car right now, just so you can kind of see what you guys will be kind of supporting here. Um, so I'm in college, and I don't really have the money to fix this car up. I love it so much. It's never let me down once. Um, so basically, it was hit in the side twice. The first time, it got hit in the side. Oh, what was it? It was hit by like a Saturn or something. So I replaced the back door with a silver door. So then a few weeks ago, it got hit by a Hummer H2, lit driving by a little old lady, and both the doors were mangled, so I had to get Volvo XC70 doors and throw them on, um, because I don't have the money for the V70 doors. This was all that was available. I've not done much with the interior, but I did all the little things that I like on cars. I put in a cross-country steering wheel here, a nice tan steering wheel. Nice wood shifter knob out of a S70. And I got the nice silver trim out of a Volvo S60, as well as I have door cards off a V70 XE with the triple stitching. I think it's the coolest kind of look for this car. Um, I also have the triple seat, the triple stitch leather seats, just because I like the cross country feel, but I don't want the cross country black body moldings. It's currently powered by a 2.4 liter, five cylinder, non-turbo, five speed manual. Um, the car runs really, really well for its age, all considered. I put new map sensor in it, PCB system, cleaned all the hoses and pipes. Not much besides that. Now, I know you guys just saw the side of my car. I'm going to get into that right now. So, it has Volvo XC70 doors on the side of it because it was actually hit twice. The first time it got hit, I put a silver door in the back. It got hit by a Saturn. Then the second time I got hit by a Hummer H2 and I had to put cross country doors on it because I didn't have the money to actually put the right doors on. That's all I could find at the junkyard. And as you can see during that, it did sadly mess up my wheel well here a bit. And because I really loved the car and I didn't want it to rust very much, I just landed a Boss Shaw Bondo job on it. <laughs> but other than that, she's a really solid car. It drives great. Um, yeah. Now I'm going to get into flaws. Okay, well the center kind of closes on one side and not the other. All the doors on the right side are a different color. Bondo on Bondo on top of Bondo. Um, I consider this a flaw. I just found out it got hit again. I didn't know that. More Bondo. And it just I just found another flaw. It's got a little bit of rust starting here now. I really love the snow, but as you can see it's kind of hiding a hole in my roof. Another flaw is this gas cap, it really never locks, it just kind of flails around all the time. Surprising enough, another flaw is this. This door opens and closes, but this one opens and closes, but it never actually shuts. This is a very unnoticeable flaw, but uh, I actually had to zip tie the computer into the bottom of the seat because it fell off. Here's the best flaw. The driver's side door panels off the V70. Every other single one in the car is an XC71 because I think they look cooler and I can find a driver's side. This light right here has never turned off ever. Another flaw is that window doesn't work sometimes. Another flaw that I remembered is whenever I put it in the second gear, it makes a weird clunk noise. As you can hear, it makes a weird clunk and then it slams back. For some of the upgrades I like to do to this car, I think the best ones would be I'd like to have a nice clutch kit put in it, like an Exidy or something like that. Um, I'd like to use a short shifter kit in it because, you know, the gears are really long in this car. Um, I'd also like to have a nice body kit on it. I'd like a V70R front bumper on it because they look really cool. Um, I want those headlights that you have on your website, nice black LED strip ones, those are cool. 
and I'd really love to have a matching door panel on the driver's side. <laughs> uh, performance wise I'd like to add a nice um, Garrett turbo into it with a nice nice chrome intercooler and I'd like to paint it sonic blue just like the V70R and I'd like to get the orange Atacama interior in it and I'd like to stitch it like an XC70 kind of seat look. Um, besides all the other upgrades, that's really all I'd really want for this car. Because I like keeping it stock. I'd also like to get my wheels redone for it, and they are the 780 Bretoni wheels. I think they're just the coolest looking wheel in the world. Because um, the BBS ones are overrated, and I like old stuff, so that's really all the upgrades I'd like to Alright IP, that was my Volvo V70. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, yeah, so hopefully you guys like my project.